Hey guys, tonight here, AK Nizzy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're turn subscriber, what's up? You're lit and that's on that. As you can tell by today's video, it's going to be a story time, yes, very juicy story time. Um, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the post notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and follow my socials. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. I like to mention that we're almost at 400 subscribers, and that's on period. And so yeah, if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Like, you need to subscribe. But anyways, let's get into story time. Today's story time is going to be about the time that I had to get a restraining order on my cousin. Alright, so this happened my 8th grade year, which was... Or the summer before my 8th grade year, which was 2017. It's 2017, just a little background. Um, me and my cousin, before this situation happened, we were like really close, like sisters basically like I looked at her as an older sister we're only like we like six years apart like that's it like it's not a huge gap or nothing so we was we were, we were always close like we basically grew up together like we would go to auditions together we would have matching outfits like photo shoots together like all of it like all of it um and then like we started going our separate separate ways mostly because she started growing up and like was participating in activities that I was not going to participate in like I just wasn't um so yeah, um, what else can I say? So that's basically the background of it. Um, but this event occurred over the summer, like I said. So because she started like participating in activities and stuff, like she we started drifting off or whatever. So it would be like a lot of like little arguments, but it wasn't like nothing major until this happened. So I don't know where to start. Like it happened so long ago. I'm trying to like put pieces together, you know, with my head. Um. Oh, the first argument, the very first argument that, like, really, really sparked everything, it was me and her at my grandma's house. It was just us two. And something was said. I don't remember what she said. But she said something smart. And she was just, like, messing with me. And I wasn't in the mood to be messed with because, like I said, we wasn't really cool. And she said something smart. And I turned around and I cursed at her. I'm not going to say what I said, but I cursed at her. Um, I was like, shut the up, you little, or something like that. It was something like that. And my girl's friend was there, but we didn't know she was there. And she was like, oh, you made her mad. And then my cousin was like, I don't care, or whatever she said. So then I went to my friend's house, and I stayed there. And that was that. And my mom was like, just don't engage with her no more. Because like we was going a little bit back and forth after I said that. And then I just left. So then, so that was that. And by that point in time, my mom did not want me going down my grandma's house if she was there. So it was like I was barely there. But then, like... A few days later, we had this event because me and my cousin performed, but she stopped performing once she started, like, doing whatever she does. So, um, so my friend that I was friends with, like, growing up, she called her her little sister, and they participated in extracurricular activities together, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but, uh, so they got close because they did what they did, and then my friend's friend was there too and my friend well she's not my friend but you know my friend she raps and we know she raps so we let her perform at the event because we knew what she did we knew what she did and what she you know and she, her friend felt some type of way because apparently her friend like sung or something but we didn't know that because we never heard her sing so it was like why would we put you on stage if we never heard you so that was that that was the event that was the event me and her performed the girl didn't that was the event then um, what was the next incident? Then, like, two days later, I went back to my grandma's house only because I had to go get my hair done. So I was about to go get my hair done, and I had to go down there because my mom had to go to work, so my grandma was going to take me. And mind you, I have $50 in my phone case. I have an iPhone 10. Just came out. Just came out. iPhone 10. Um, so, me and my grandma, like, getting our stuff ready so we could leave or whatever, and then we... But, like, while we're getting our stuff ready, my cousin, the friends, the two girls, and my cousin's boyfriend sitting outside on the porch doing their extracurricular activity. 
and talking, but we don't know what they're talking about because we're inside. So then they come inside and sit down and something was said that was like, so why didn't y'all let such and such perform? And me and my grandma was like, huh? And my grandma was like, because we didn't know if she was ready. Like, we never heard her perform before. So then that just blew everything out of proportion. Because then it started coming up how I was spoiled and I never got in trouble for anything. Mind you, that's my grandma. I'm like, like, what? Like, I'm, I'm she's going to spoil me. Like, she still spoils me. Like, what? But anyways, that's what was said. It was like... Um, Tanaya is spoiled. She always gets her way. She never gets in trouble. She doesn't get reprimanded for anything. Which, you know, kind of, it was kind of true, but it was like, that's not your business. You and my business, don't do that. But, um, so yeah, that was what the conversation was about. At first, it was a calm conversation about them just expressing how they felt. Me and my grandma sat there and listened. We didn't say anything. Then, the conversation got heated because, what happened? Oh, I started talking about how my cousin was like, like my dad took care of my cousin. Like I started talking about that and she caught offense to it and the girls got caught offense to it. I was walking, I don't know what I was going to go get, but I was walking towards the kitchen. My cousin had a Sprite in her hand and I had my phone in my hand and I didn't have any shoes on, mind you. Um, my cousin walks behind me and her Sprite, like she poured her Sprite on me because she was mad. So she poured her Sprite on me. And apparently she said I said something about her mom. I don't remember that, like, honestly. Only thing that I could have said like that was, like, my dad raised you. Like, something along that line, you know? But she claims I said something about her mom. But she put her Sprite on me. Like, her whole Sprite, like, went like that. So I threw my phone at the wall. And I walked up to her. And we just started fighting. <laughs> like, mind you, I'm tiny. Like, I'm tiny. I'm small. I'm... How old you in the 8th grade? I don't even know how old I was. I was like 14, 13. And she was like 18. Six year difference. Something like that. Um, so yeah, we start fighting in the house. In the house. And my phone's on the wall. Like my phone, I don't know where my phone went. Because I threw it. Because it was wet. Um, so we start fighting. And then. So we go from the back of the house. All the way to the front fighting. And by the time we get to the front, like, nobody, like, like, they, they stand, the people is, like, up, but nobody's, like, reacting. Like, they just letting us fight. <laughs> so, we fighting, we fighting. Um, and then it got to a point where my grandma was, like, near us, and she was trying to break us up, but it wasn't working. Like, we were still throwing hits at each other. Um, and then the door got open to the front of the house somehow, and, um... Next thing I know, she's trying to pull me down the steps outside. Like, sis, concrete, won't do that, baby girl. But, yeah, she's trying to pull me down the steps outside. Like, she was, like, pulling me towards the door. But as she pulling me, like, I'm still hitting her. And we still hitting each other. Well, I'm still hitting her and she pulling me. And then my girl, I'm trying to get her off of me as she pulling me. Because she realizing that she's trying to throw me down the steps. Um... Then what happened? Oh, so then my grandma started hitting her. And I let go. And I... Where did I go? I let go. They went outside. I locked the door. And the window... Oh, my gosh. My grandma's window, like, it's horrible. It's messed up because they used to sneak out all the time. So they wouldn't lock it. So now it doesn't, like, lock. So they had, like, a stick, like, going vertically. That's vertical, right? No diagonally a stick going diagonally in the window so like if you lift it open the stick blocks it bro she i'm on the phone like trying to call the cops like trying to say like what's going on and she um lifting the window up and you hear it lifting and then all you hear is a stick pop out i ran upstairs in the bathroom she ran in her room then all i hear is a taser like click 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 click, click. and i'm like what the like bro and mind you i'm about to go in eighth grade like this is like crazy to me but yeah, so I heard a taser, and I'm like, yo, like, it's really something wrong with her. Mind you, my cousin is, like, really bipolar, so it's, like, really something wrong with her. Um, so, yeah, I heard a taser clicking. I'm like, wait a minute. So, um, I come out the bathroom. As I'm coming out the bathroom, she's coming out her room. The bathroom's here, her room's here, and the stairs is, like, right here. So I have to pass her room to get to the stairs to go out the house. So, I, um... I'm coming out the bathroom. I'm like so close to her door. As soon as I get by her door, she opens it. I ran. She chased me with that taser outside of the house. Like, I'm not even lying. I didn't have no shoes on. 
and she chased me with the taser. And then I went to my friend's house because they lived like right across the street. And his sister answered the door and his sister was like, stay here. And um, no happened. Oh, then my mom, I called my mom. And my mom was like, she was at work and she was like, all right, I'm on my way. And my mom literally got there in like 15 minutes and her job is like a good 25 minutes away. So that was that. And um, before my mom got there though, uh, there's this summer camp because there's a school across the street from my grandma's house and there's a summer camp and the girl who worked at the summer camp is my mom's friend's daughter so like she was looking for me but she didn't know where I went because I had ran so um, then the cops came and the cops was at my grandma's house but I wasn't there because I was at my friend's house and the cops was like questioning my grandma or whatever and they like went to go find my cousin and they found her but her nose was bleeding so they let her go I like, won't let her go because her nose bleeding. What? That doesn't make any sense. But they said it's because I wasn't there, so they couldn't take her. Um, that won't happen. Oh, my grandma's finger got messed up. She tore ligaments in her finger, like that, like really messed her up. She had to get like surgery and stitches and all this stuff. Like she was about to lose filling. Like as as she was recovering, like she was losing filling in her finger and like losing the ability to move her finger. So that was that. And then uh, my mom got here. And the cops was there, and my mom was pissed because, like, they was acting like they couldn't do nothing. So we went downtown. Mind you, I'm supposed to be getting my... Oh! Mind you, I'm supposed to be getting my hair done, right? So I go in the house to get my phone because, you know, I threw my phone. My phone's not there. The $50 is not there, which means they took my phone and my money. That's dirty. And then the girl, before they left, the girl was trying to fight me. The girl I used to be friends with, she was trying to fight me. And my grandma's friend came out the kitchen with a knife. And she was like, try some. And then the girl back down. But yeah, she was trying to fight me too. So then after that, after like my mom got there, whatever, and the cops didn't do nothing, we had to go downtown to get a restraining order on her. And we had to go to like three different court buildings because they kept telling us to go to different ones or whatever. So yeah, we got the restraining order. And then after that, after we got the restraining order, because, like, you know, you got to hand somebody the restraining order in order for it to go in effect. So we gave it to my grandma, and we thought that was going to work. But my grandma had kicked her out the house, so she was no longer living there. So that wasn't, like, you know, there. So she went to go live with her dad. And then when she went to go live with her dad, uh, one night she came back to the house to get, like, the rest of her stuff. And before any of this happened... No, she went to go, yeah, she went to, she came back to my grandma's house to get her stuff or whatever, and this was like maybe a week later when she came back. So like in between that time, someone had broken into one of my dad's houses and took money. That's all we knew. We just knew money was missing, and we knew that she had the keys, so everybody assumed it was her, but we didn't know where she did with the money, where the money went, we didn't know none of that. So, um... She comes back to get her stuff. They moving her stuff out the house. They like putting it in her dad's truck or whatever. Cause my grandma's friends are there, like telling her like you can't come back here. And my mom's there, and they bring down this cart drawer, like you know the cart with the three wheels. I mean with the three drawers, like the plastic ones you get from like Walmart or Target. They brought that down, and my mom was like, "Let me look in it." But then my mom was like, "No, never mind. Just go ahead and take it out." As soon as they took it out, she popped the wheels off of it. All this money fell out. And we was like, well, now we know where the money went. And then she ran off. Um, so, yeah, then they, they served her then. And she knew she had a restraining order on me. Um, she kept trying to come back to the house or whatever. But my grandma, like, kicked her out. And, um... Yeah, and then Christmas came around because it's happening in the summer, so then Christmas came around. They invited her back to the house. It was very much awkward. It was very weird because we wasn't talking, and they kept saying, like, she missed our bond or whatever, and I'm just saying her, like, what? Like, that don't even, no, don't do that, don't do it, don't do that. And so, yeah, Christmas is really weird, like, really weird. It was like, why is she here? Like, I don't even feel comfortable being here with her. Um... That's when we found out she was pregnant with the kid. Uh, and then fast forward, she started being nice. It was never an apology. We never apologized. It was never like a sit down talk. Why did this happen? None of that. It was just like the situation was like overlooked. And now she lives back in my... Like I was saying, now she lives back in my grandma. Nothing is like completely the same, but we're definitely like doing better now. Um, we do have our arguments. Trust me, there are are times when it gets like 
close to where it was trying to make it be the same but we know it's never going to be completely the same anymore but it is what it is at this point um the restraining order is over and that only lasted two years so that was that am i focused i do not go down my grandma's house as much as i used to um i'm barely down there um her kids i mean they're my little cousins so i can't like punish them for what happened between us so you know that's that we still like when we go away she still comes sometimes that's horrible sometimes it's fine but yeah she's the reason why i'm crazy because i used to be with her all the time when i was younger all she did was fight so you wanna know why i'm crazy she's one of the reasons why i'm crazy but um <laughs> yeah i mean that's pretty much it i i'm like i don't know like everybody knows me and knows like i don't trust people I don't open up to people. I'm careful what I tell people. So that's like part of the reason why. Because it's like if your family could do this to you, anybody could do that to you for real, for real. But yeah, at the end of the day, if I know, I know if I have to fight someone to call her because that's it. Like, I don't get what you want to say. I was editing and realized I wasn't in focus, so now I have to redo the outro. So here we go. Um, That's basically all the video. Like I said where we stand now is where we stand now um but yeah that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe hit the post notification bell give this video a thumbs up and follow my socials and i'll see you in my next video